cheer, wipe away a tear, haven't it all in me? <laughs> What's my life ever way? Can I be friendly? Say, so come along and raise the rafters. Come along, sweep your sides in laughter. But I is free. Right? It meant 
being thrashed by a claw hammer and, and hit with an electric cable by your old man, isn't it? Not like today. Um, <laughs> you. It's a different, different way of living. Oh yeah, right, okay. Topical humour. Uh, uh, observational humour. <laughs> Here. You know what it's like, right? It's a Friday night, you're in your bed set, alone, <laughs> and then you're down three litres of ice dragon. You've got Bum Busters 2 on the video player. Bum <laughs> And uh, you've got a patent leather belt around your neck. Tied to door, but it's tight on it. And you've got an orange in your mouth and you, you've inhaled your butyl nitrate at the point of asphyxiation. The bloody doorbell rings. <laughs> it happens to all of us. It's our lives. Um, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you who really gets my goat. This shepherd I know. He's very reliable. And I'll be frank with you. Oh yeah. Hey, who wants to hear some blue material? Yeah. Hey, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that off my knees. Twelve years. <laughs> so I, I, I got this new bird the other night. Yeah. And, um, she had a cute angina. Her tits weren't too bad either, hey that? No, no, she did. She did have a cute angina. And it, was, and it was a lovely service. Um, so, I took myself in hand. Be frank with you. And I went to see a lady of the night. And um, I went to see a lady of the night. I did you. And she said, Oh, it's 50 pounds for an hour, but I've got crabs. I said, For 50 pounds an hour, I expect lobster service or. <laughs> Like, I can't. 
do an impression. <laughs> Just imagine him. <laughs> you know, stops coming round with a Pyrex dish or something. You know. That's a joke for the older members. There you go. I'm coming to the end of my act now. Thank fuck. <laughs> and I've often wondered what would it be like if we could find out what celebrities' cars sounded like. Right? When they start them in the mornings. Would it in any way echo the idiosyncrasies and vocal tics of their mannerisms? Because I think it'd be something. Just a little bit. Like this. Music, please.
Especially you, Wolves. 